Today I spend 100 days in Ark Ascended Scorched Earth. From everything I did achieve, the biggest achievement was living through all the different weather events. From raging sandstorms that covered the skies or electrical storms that teased me all game. I found elemental golems scattered all throughout the lands, finding these weird writings on walls and even secrets hidden deep below the surface. Not to mention a few tame T-Rexes and a base built on top of a mountainside. ET Dubs, if you do enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and let me know what game you'd want me to to play next. I spent 100 days in Ark Scorched Earth and here's what happened. The character creation was easily some of my best work. From a type of Captain Hook looking character, this new form was beefier in every sense of the word and looking thick. Immediately being thrown into the game, my worst nemesis was right in front of me. You think you could fight me? I'll kill you all. Hold on. Are you cool? Take oil? What the fuck? <gasps> Starting off strong, the beauty of this game had me distracted to say the least. You think I'm gonna last 10 minutes? I may. Can we restart? Moments later, I was about to be welcomed in by some guests. Gives me a challenge. Gives me a big old challenge. This was supposed to be easy. Mm, this was not easy. Son of a Things were definitely off to a slow start. Grabbing the resources needed for my new tools, I was looking to gather materials for clothes. What truly bothered me was having to wear a hat. I wanted those luscious locks out for the world to see. I'd also learned that my character was having a heat stroke, praying that the river close by would be my saving grace, or perhaps a little shade to fight the extreme weather. This definitely wasn't looking good for me. It's a heat wave. Wait, there's heat waves in this too? You're knocked out? Oh, that's great. That's a super heat you need to tend to our cave. There we go. There it is. I knew it. Spawning back into the world of hot, I found the cutest looking dog ever. Was there something bigger there? I thought I heard something bigger. Now eh, we're probably fine. Uh, are you cool? Please be cool. Please be cool. That's uh, not cool. It would take me a few more attempts, but I finally had a little house built. The door giving me all the protection I needed. You see that? Like the, the fire thing. It goes away, but then if I'm standing in a certain part, it's like it, it's really hot. While out and about again, I was looking for more hide. Coming across these beautiful pair of dinosaurs. Come here. 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 He's stuck! He's stuck! He's stuck! Oh, get some sun! With some hide for more builds, the best way I went about this was bolus, trapping a parasaur in its tracks and giving me the ability to just whack away without worrying about it running about. There we go. Okay, I just need to kill you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give me you. Give me you. And now we're getting hide? This is crazy. This would become my first official tame in arc. Ah! And then how do we... Uh... Piss. Go to sleep. I just give it all the berries. I don't even worry about it. Oh! Okay, does the tail wagging mean anything? Day four, and I was looking for something called silk. Some sort of material used in crafting for desert equipment that would help me survive the lands for longer. The problem was most of the plants I went around picking up gave me one to two pieces at a time. And that was if I was lucky. I'm gonna try to kill you, sir. Just stay right there. Whoa, you're fast, you're fast, you're fast, you're really fast. <laughs> you're so fast. Are you fast in water? Oh, yeah, you guys are fast in water too. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I gotta find, I gotta find safety. I gotta find safety, safety, safety. Why is the water so dark? Safety, safety. <laughs> Wait, you could climb? Please don't tell me you could climb. Who said you could leave? Get back here. Yo, oh, that's right. That's right. Get back here, son. Get back here. Yeah. Yeah. Take it to the face. Wait, did I kill him too? <laughs> oh, the cute little baby. Who's a cute little baby? You're a cute little baby. You're going to be a dead little baby in a second. You trying to run away from me? I'm here. I'm Papa. This also had me traveling closer to the green obelisk and a little distracted from time to time. What was it called? Crime scene investigator. Is that a T-Rex? <gasps> they they gifted a crime scene investigator and I'm going to play it tonight. That's God T-Rex. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't kill that yet. 
<laughs> it's on the bones of his enemy too. The walk back was pretty exciting. Coming across what seemed to be the biggest dinosaur I would ever see. What's the biggest dinosaur you guys have ever seen or played with? Yeah, no, my English is not Englishing that. Okay. Three hits? While picking up all my stuff, it hit me that the wolf that killed me also killed the Jerboa I tamed. Sad days, man. This is a water vein? Oh. So this is where people would build bases around or like set up tents. Interesting. I feel like if I had one of those dudes with the, the tails, it'd be wagging its tail right now. Yep. <laughs> Told ya. On a more positive note, I finally had the bow and arrow in hand. The amount of damage I was dishing out to these dinos was very surprising. I didn't expect myself to do that much damage. How did I win that? Oh my god. That was beautiful. With a lot of mining of stone, the smithy was next on my list. I was looking to build a stone house. Obviously, I didn't know that there was something far better to build with, but that would come later on. What I ended up doing was turning the harvest resource up a bit because there was no way I was playing while farming two to three stone or flint at a time. These were, however, the new building pieces I was talking about. So for this, we need clay thatch. Oh, wait. So sand is... Hold on. I did see clay too. Clay's a new, uh, new material. Oh, cactus sap and sand to make clay. Maybe we will. Okay, yeah, I should definitely do this one then, actually. That makes so much more sense. What did catch me off guard now was having to deal with sand. Sand was just... The sand was heavy, man. Between the sand, cactus was another resource I did need throughout the lands, and one that would be crafted with a mortar and pestle. Next was some storage boxes because of all the items I started to collect. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining! Oh! That's amazing! I didn't know it could rain in this place. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Seems like a storm's coming, but it's also raining and it's a desert. That's wicked. Oh man. Everything I worked towards, this new tent was exactly what I was looking for. Keeper of all and something that would protect me from all the weather events. How does that work though? This place to tent right there. Hold for more. Open? Uh, how long does it take until you juvenile? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yup, okay, okay. Oh, it's me or you! It's me or you! No, 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 no! Yeah! Oh, suck it, suck it. Oh, yeah, eat my taint. Oh, yeah, suck that. Oh, okay. I knew the uh, friggin' wolf has been here for so long. Ooh, he's by my base. I can't, I can't let this be. Come on, come on, bring it. Yes! Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> let me take a selfie. Oh, you're stupid. Sorry, I'm, oh. I hate these things so much. As I finished up the rest of my day, a few people mentioned photo mode and I was locked in. <laughs> this is a lot, right? Look at Cube. Oh. <laughs> if I was to ever have a dad bod, this would be dad bod goals. Which obviously is not realistic, but I would like it, you know? If there was ever like a thing in mind. <laughs> I got a better idea. I refuse to watch the video if it doesn't include this part. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is how you get thumbnails, okay? You gotta take your time and you gotta really like, maybe this side too, just in case. <laughs> Why is it targeted on my crotch? On day 10, I worked on finishing up my Adobe builds, thinking to myself, how in the heck was I gonna build up? I soon realized that there were Adobe pillars that gave me the stability to build higher and higher. In the meantime, it was me, some narco arrows, and a lot of taming taking place. It started with an Ankylosaurus, then a Morellotops, and soon after, a Doedicurus, I think? Were you ready to little cootie? Oh, he's a little cootie. You think you could run away from me? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Are we good? Early game, the bolas came in handy for most dinos. That said, it was time to see what saddles I could make for my ever-growing dino family. You're back. <gasps> what, what? Woo! Oh, baby! Holy crap, did I just kill that? Yeah, I did. Come here. Ha, Sabanya! Baba, bees, a baba! A 
While out and exploring this vast world, the cool new map, I may have gotten carried away with more photo mode again. Oh, that one's nice color. Oh, look at this one. This one's so cool. The color? Wait, how do I... Why am I so zoomed in? Emerald Dodoe. Dodoe Dick. Dodoe Dick. I love that word. Oh, man. What did happen on a daily were the wolves trying to kill me. It was time I tamed one of my own. Can I drag your body out of the water? As I was close to adding one more to my family, I really thought this wolf needed a saddle. Apparently, wolves were one of few that didn't need a saddle to ride. There hasn't been a heat stroke. Like, we've been kind of good. Dire wolf is going to be calm. Perk up jog. <laughs> <laughs> While running back home with my new tame, this anthill farm had me focused on them and without a care in the world. Swimming, swimming. Bye. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! What is that? What is it? What is it? That's not a. That's not a terror bird. I want to see it. I gotta take a picture. I don't know what that is. I gotta take a picture. I gotta take a picture. What? It what the fuck? What? <laughs> Ooh, could I get a picture with me and like... Oh, yeah. I feel like I could win. <gasps> oh, where did this dude come from? We got a spider bird. Run, run, run. Just or, or jump. Jump too. Jump. Yo, you could, you got... Can I kill the terror? I'm gonna kill the terror bird. Yo, this little piss. Come here. Like that guy stole my stuff. He stole my stuff. The wolf was definitely the cutest thing. Not only did it have hops or big jumps, but every time I leveled up a point, the wolf would wiggle its butt in place. With more fog rolling in later in the day, I couldn't believe how much everything was being engulfed. Dude, why you gotta be so weird? Look at that. I ain't going in that. Looks like it's getting... Hold on. Hold on. Yo, I ain't about this. Mm -mm. Uh, no, I'm not about the fog life. Don't like it. I don't I don't even like this. This is... I'm, go I, I'm so scared. I'm not even kidding. I don't like this. Everything's way too quiet. Why are you getting all vibrant and shiny? Ah! Oh my god, dude! I'm so on mother flipping edge, dude! Holy crap! I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! We're cool, we're cool! Dude, mother! Just zigzag, zigzag! There's so many golems! Why is there so. No, there's two of them! Look! Dude, you're not pooping on the job. You're not actually pooping on the job. Escaping all the golems I did, I came across my next problem. Who's down there? Hello, down there, down there, down there. Oh, I gotta go up there, that's why, okay. Um, I could probably jump it. Famous last words! This was the only thing I was thinking about for right now. I could tame that. I could mother and tame, fl flupping? Hello? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I was kidding. I was kidding. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Um, 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 just, yeah, yeah. Let's just, yeah, let's just go down here. Just go down here. Oop, yep, yep. Let, let, whoop, nope, 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 nope. Don't fly too much. Don't fly. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. If you start flying, I'll make sure you don't. Let's just, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Just back up, back up, back up, back up. I could totally tame still though. The next thing on my very important list was silica pearls. These things were located through all the different rivers in the game, but I just had no idea what they looked like. As my journey took me through more of the lands, I finally found it. The one thing I'd be able to use for upgrades and just so much more. You best believe I marked that sucker on the map so fast and mined whatever I could carry. This would be the best way to end the day, but I was also extremely glad I had a tent on me. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, can I make it home first, please? Could I make it home first? <laughs> oh my god. What the f- god, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I might have to say screw it. Motherfucker. Get aside, get aside! Close, close door! You good out there? You good out there, bro? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I was not making that. Yeah, that's not good. Huh, alright. So let's just, um... What do you mean this guy? This is how you play a video game. You play it real sometimes, and then other times you like, you know, curiosity. Oh, that's so cool. It's even going. Oh, I love that. It, it just doesn't magically disappear. It's like, look at it. Look at it go. Day 17, I had a new saddle to my name. The Ankylosaurus was looking bare, and it was time to test out what this dino could farm for me. This was that time. 
taking all the previous resources I farmed up and crafted down into materials I needed. My idea was to build the biggest staircase in Ark history and to become a reality. All I had to do now was figure out how in the world I was going to build hundreds of parts for this entire project of mine. It started with the platforms raised up high and making sure to place pillars beneath the staircase as needed. If only I knew about the pillars ages ago because in my last two Ark videos, I had plans to build a huge base that went from top to bottom, but could never figure out how to build it off the ground. With all this progress being made, clay was the number one factor in making all this happen. Even as the fog rolled in, it was all about using K to farm the sand I needed. Is sand really that heavy? Like some, for some reason, sand is heavier than stone. I had to do something about this dino in front of me. It kept getting stuck under my stairs. Nope, no, 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 uh-uh. N-O spells, oh heck no. Run, 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 run. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. No. But. Got him. Did you get him? Oh, you got him. Okay, cool. Looking for a few more tames later in the day, I found a few wolves close by. I was kidding. 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 Is that an alpha? What the fudge? Why are they yellow? Woo! I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Wait, no, don't run that way. Um, okay, we'll run up here. Oh, wait, what if I could tame it? Or can you tame alphas? Is that. <gasps> what the fudge? Yo! Really? This right here was me taking my sweet, sweet revenge on those wolves that killed me. Ain't no way I was letting any of them go. Did you know? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I did know. Yep. I will tame you. I will tame you, little wolves, little cubs. I will tame thee. Hello, hello, hello. I killed you all. I go demon for you. Demon. Demon child. Demon child. Demon child. Between all the sand and cactus to clay I now had, that previous fight brought something out of me. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Cactus. Cactus. Oh cactus. I also wouldn't be alone for very long as things were still around in the area. This dude just ate his buddy and then came after me? Are you kidding me? I don't think so. On day 20, I was trying my best to play it carefully. A sudden step would be another death of me. Oh, okay. I wasn't... That's my bad. That one's on me. That one's definitely on me. I, you know... The trickiest part about all this was the scaffolding. A few inches off and everything would come tumbling down. Like, did you see my staircase in Valheim, dude? Oh my god, that thing was... Oh, crap. This was distraction at its finest, ladies and gents. Feel too close. <laughs> oh, wait, can I go inside you? You have anything inside you, buddy? Oh. <laughs> That's cursed. Day 21, I was making more progress with half the amount of deaths. Setting up another set of stairs side by side, I then connected the floor panels and worked throughout the night. It was just taking more practical stuff and just having fun with that, rather than just like sitting at a screen. What? I'm sorry. I'll go back. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't know what this is. Ooh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I need some water. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go down. Go place, 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 place. All right. We're good. We're good. On day 22, I had more resources farmed up. It was finally time to continue building to the skies. The amount of clay I had was unstoppable, and this led me to having more than enough resources I would need for some time. Okay, 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 make sure we have... Oh, wow, we can hold a lot of that. So I continued on, building the stairway to heaven as I made sure the pillars of mine were holding this booty up. With progress starting to show for my build, so did my confidence. Surely, this would be done in no time. What I did find super interesting while working through the night, though, is a torch attached to my hip. Day 23, I had triple stairs being made with a bunch of platforms at the ready, knowing that nothing would stop me from achieving my goal. Wait, my mic's not mute, is it? Oh, see? That's what happens. Great. Love it. Yeah. Type of, uh, like, build mechanics. Oh. Also, why do I have, like, there is literal butter on my feet. I don't get it. Did it suck to die again? Sure. You know what really sucked though? Was losing my wolf to a not so friendly saber tooth. Without a moment's notice, the sky started to change in a matter of seconds. This wasn't something I was used to, so I had to book it. Oh crap. 
We gotta run! I can't run! Why can't I run? Oh, it's that stamina-inducing one. Or taking away one. Oh my god. This is terrifying! You good back there? Cool. Alright. With the storm starting to settle down, I felt it was time to add more platforms to the staircase. I wanted this thing big. Bigger than big. I wanted it humongous. Next, a few raptors were about to show me a good time. Funny thing was, I was about to show them a good time. This might have been the worst day yet. Getting all caught up in the moment, I failed to see which wolf was mine at the time. Which one? Oh, you killed him! Continuing my journey in the lay of the lands, I found what looked to be a big thorny gecko. What is that noise? Uh, what are you? Moo! <laughs> what the fudge? What are you? What are you chasing me for? Oh, crap. Oh, you could go up, but I can't. Oh, we're dead. Whee! Yay! This game's so much fun. At this point in, I was a friend of death. The hardest part for me was trying to loot the body. This one in particular would be the toughest of the bunch because of this big dinosaur nearby. What do I do? I need my stuff. It's right there. But there's like a big... Oh, he's going to bite him. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, wait, maybe this is my chance. Oh, crap, but the terror bird. Yeah, I need someone to come and fight this dude. You can't get up here. Oh, who's a cutie? You're a cutie. Yeah, you are. If that wasn't bad enough, I thought it was a grand idea to fall down and almost killing myself again. <laughs> what I didn't expect to find so soon was this wandering scorpion for yours truly. Yeah, I know this isn't the greatest example, but Junie, just because <laughs> it's not the greatest example because it's a scorpion, I get it. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? As I was more than excited to show off my new tame to some of my dinos, I was definitely jumping in my seat from time to time. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm sorry, I didn't know you would do that. Oh, it's so spider-esque too, with the legs, the way it swims. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, just, oh, man. I also had the best idea yet. Test out my new scorpion with some raptors in the area. Yay! Hey, Junie, you're still alive. Oh my god. You just went to sleep. You're just sleeping. You're sleeping. Oh my god. I'm gonna go on foot because it's faster. With more rain coming in from the west, I found a not-so-dead dino of mine. Looking to imprint the little thing, my tames were starting to grow in size. Thinking to myself, why did I do this again? Oh yeah. Oh crap, no. Don't do it, don't do it, guys, guys. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I got distracted. Don't do it, don't do it. You're gonna die. Oh my god, why did that one jump? While hearing a call from some more raptors, this fight definitely got carried away. Lucky me, because I would have to deal with yet another storm. This one was creeping in fast and looked to be one of the electrical type. The smartest thing for me to do now was running to a supply crate out in the open. I didn't care if a dino got me or some sort of weather phenomenon, I wanted new stuff. There was no shot I was making it back home in one piece though, so after everything, I spent some quiet time unlocking some more stuff inside the engrams menu. On day 30, you could probably tell there was something different here. That's because on my last save, it kept crashing and finally caused this corrupted data. With that said, I wasn't about to let this stairway to heaven go. It was still on and thus began the building with what resources I had. God, this feels like a roller coaster. Uh, Misplacing a few building pieces, I had to risk it for the biscuit. This might kill me! Damn, fine. I just can't take any more damage. No, it pushed me! It pushed me! That's right, it pushed me! God damn it! Wait, 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 this is a good idea. Hold on. Go! I don't care if I gotta freeze it. No, no, no. Take the body, take the body, take the body, take the body. Let the body sit the floor. Take the body with you. Come on, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. If I die, we all die. No, 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 no. Rather than making it a weird build too, I decided on doing a staircase straight up to the mountainside. Soon to realize, as the day went on, I was going to need to build a scaffolding for this to work. My initial thought was to build some beams in hopes this would connect everything. 50-50, this, is, uh, this, whatever this is, exists. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I give up. I give up. If it works, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't care anymore. I don't care. 
<laughs> this is so weird, man. What I truly needed now was more cactuses. Some would say a lot more cactus to the point where my character was tired and stopped moving in place. Cactuses were friends, not food. Sure, they had a more prickly side to them, but at the end of the day, they gave me sustenance and everything else I needed. This was now my time. A little R&R with my Doad Dicarus. These stone chunks wouldn't stand a chance. Giving right jabs all day, some to the smaller rocks and then one to a big rock. My fingers were crossed as I figured out the next issue. <gasps> I hate this. I hate that so much. It... <sighs> I was a glutton for punishment, and this would hopefully help with that. So you said click it when I'm falling. Ah! Aha! Alrighty. I like it a lot. This is going to save lives. Dude, I'm going to have like a hundred of these in my inventory. Oh my god. Oh, that's going to be so nice. With the materials I had left, it was time for more scaffolding. <gasps> like now. Wait! Parachute! <laughs> not today! Not today! Wow, oh, you think you're so cool. You think you're so fly. You ain't even fly. Building out the stability down below and then getting in a couple of stairs as I climbed to the top. I was so close to this little lip area that had the most wonderful sight to behold. What is that? Why is it so dark and oh, it's so black? Oh, that, that didn't come out right. Well, you know what I mean though. Is this obsidian? What was truly eye-opening for me was how much I pushed through for this wonderful staircase of mine. Building in survival games was always such a big part of me, and this felt right. Day 35, I was looking to use my doed once more. Basic resources were always needed, so there was no time like the present. You good? Hold on. Try to bring you over here. Oh, you can't move. Six, like five or six years ago, there was this... Is he dead? Dude, why didn't you move? This now meant I needed to bond and build a new relationship with another Doed Decurus, praying to my cheese it lords that this would work. Between a Jerboa tame, it was all about the waiting game. Until I saw it, the hottest commodity around and something I went bananas for. I want it. I want it. I want your baby. I want your baby so much. Can I have your... <gasps> I want your baby. Hold on. Um... Woo! That's a lot of them, huh? It's okay. If we go in circles, we're fine. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No. Yeah. <laughs> Who tried to scare me? Cleo. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Fluffy down below. Guys, I finally did it. Look at it. Look at it. I finally did it. <laughs> oh my god. A bunch of weird shadow stuff happening out there, but don't mind that. We, like, I, I finally, oh my god, I climbed to the top. I made it to the top. <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs> I'm so high up. Not only was I happy because I finally made it to the top side of this mountain, but I started on a second set of stairs to give myself more room while running to and from. Day 37 might have been the slowest climb to reach the top once more. With everything in place, it was a matter of time before reaching it even faster. All I needed to do now was take some time to craft up more clay and start building all the railings I could. I had countless deaths because of how careless my footing was, and these things were there to help that. And the railing comes to... Ho, ho, ho. Remember when I only had one staircase that kept killing me and it was rarely, it wasn't finished? Now I have two finished staircases. Well, I still got to do more railings, but look at this. I can literally feel safe by just running at it. Ooh, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. It's a brewing. The clouds, the fog. <laughs> All right, I finished all the stairs, the railings. Thank goodness, because I can't, can't see anything. Oh my God, that is gorgeous though. The music, look at that. Beautiful. Being the roly-poly I could, this is all I wanted out of life today. To just roly-poly some rocks, Hulk smash when I could, and then rinse repeat for more stones around. Day 40 definitely took a good amount of time. My axe and me looking to chop down more cactus. The plan was to finish up a little home up top the mountainside with my stairs, but with the resources slowing down, that would have to wait a bit. Come to find out on day 41, I actually needed to place more pillars up the main floor of my new place. As the rain started to roll in midday, this is where I came to notice another problem of mine. I'm sure it was no one's fault, but the stairs had these little bumps and if I ran too quickly down them, yup, 
More fun deaths with rave pandas. Day 42, I was close to finishing up the floors, looking to build the roof, but in need of more pillars to hold everything up. While trying to figure out the different ways to place all these roofing, I found this part the most trickiest situation as I was switching between the two different kinds. As I made my way back to my almost finished base on day 43, it was time for more platforms, filling in more of the sides with railings, and then finishing up more of the roofing to fill in that satisfied tooth of mine. This place was about to be completed, and that was that. With a new day here, it was time for that promised tour of a place. This little railings, can't walk off. Gorgeous view, by the way. That is so cool to look at. But that's a lot more materials, and I think I want to start playing the game right now because this took forever. But look at this, man. It feels like I beat the game already because I can just see everything. Can't kill everything yet, but you know, we're getting there. Everything was more than planned out. Finished with what I envisioned and now looking to find the pieces needed for a fabricator. This, however, was going to be tricky because I needed oil and electronics. For the meantime, I was interested in finding more iron nearby. Yeah, there it is. See that? Look at, look at from the side view. Like all the beams coming down, the scaffolding going sideways to kind of match that. <laughs> that took so many resources. Oh my God. All right. Ooh, I see iron though. All right. I'm gonna grab this and then get the heck out of Dodge. Day 45, I would learn quickly that my Raptor couldn't hold my weight. I gotta tame that. I gotta tame that. Hold on. We're going. We're going. I need I need to drop stuff off and get my... my th oh, crap. I'm dead. Determined to race back towards my body for all that iron, but more importantly to find the T-Rex because this would be the first official attempt. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. There it is. There is the T-Rex, man. Oh, God. 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 Oh, he's gonna kill my guys. We're not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I should probably let him kill them then. What angered me so much here was watching the two teams chase each other down. Oh my god, they killed the T-Rex. I didn't want that. I was fuming from all holes and orifices of my body. I just wanted the wolf and raptor dead. I didn't care about how many shots it took. I just wanted them gone. Day 46 was a fresh new start for me. Looking to start the smelting process of iron again I collected from the previous day, I tried to forget what happened previously. I still wasn't over it, okay? What my wolf and I did tackle the next day was more wild dinos. I wanted a few stronger dinos if something ever crazy came along, so it was time to assert my dominance. Take that, you weird wolf. How about a love tap or two and... Oh, what is that thing? Woo! I almost died. All in all, a successful day to say the least. Well, what do we have here? Got it. Nice. Oh, crap. Wait, where do I run though? Oh, this guy's looking right at me. He doesn't jump off the cliff, right? Okay, okay, okay. Is that T-Rex still coming? Hello? Are you down? Oh, I got it, guys! Right there! Oh, now I just have to protect it. Being this far out in the world, I was on red alert. Anything could come on by and eat the T-Rex, or even better, me. I had to do everything in my power to keep this new T-Rex team alive. Oh, there it is, baby! There it is! Rose, you're... Look at that. Boom. First Rex. Not Rex. It's Rose. It also turns out that wouldn't be a problem because now they were just everywhere. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, there you go. That's the one. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh, God, oh, God, we're fine, we're fine. Are you going down? Or are you, you running away? You running away. You running. Oh, you big boy running. Oh, where are you running to? Where you running to? I might actually kill it here. And not, I don't mean to, but I want it. <laughs> it's level 24. That's why. What the fudge? All right. We're going to get another Rex. This one's going to be even higher level. If I had a nickel for every time I did something wrong, I'd be rich. It wasn't because of the tames. Oh, no. It was because of a path I took that had me so confused. And honestly, I was just done. Hey, 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 hey. This is going to be Rose 2. Because I'm going to lose one of them. Alright, you guys joined at the butts. Let's go. Everybody likes being joined at the butts. Follow all. Nope, 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 nope. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 no. You're not going to win. 
You're not gonna win. I don't know what to do. This is what I was trying to avoid. I was trying to avoid this actual situation, man. Yup, there goes Rose 1. Oh, my bad. Dude got hit for me. Thank you. I'm going down the scary way. Yep, get killed, get killed. Oh, there goes the other one. Goodbye. If I couldn't bring a T-Rex back, then I would have to craft a saddle for one and ride it back as best as I could. The problem was the AI pathing, so now I just had to take matters into my own hands. This was definitely one of the better days. Finally taking a T-Rex back to the dinos as they accepted Rose with open arms. Day 50 was the day to take my new buddy out for a spin and also find some snacks along the way. I was thinking licorice, maybe pretzels, and even some barbecue chips. Instead, I found a new dinosaur and I was looking to claim, kill, or capture. Hello. What are you? Whoa. I can't attack? Female. Uh, so, okay. I'm gonna kill you now. Hope you're ready. Continuing throughout the desert, I found a scorpion to chomp on and these little weird circles and some sand. With a little bit of flintstones in my blood as I ran down this tail, I was out on foot looking for a new T-Rex to tame. Oh, this couldn't be ter more terrifying, huh? I just gotta keep shooting in the face. Because these things are stronger and faster and there we go, there we go, yep. Oh, you like that? Yeah, you like that, don't ya? <laughs> hello! <laughs> I'll keep going, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. There's a- oh, that's the baby T-Rex, never mind, sorry. Baby T-Rex is bigger than me still, that's kinda sketchy. Got it. This would definitely take me some time though. Day 51 and it was time for a little 1v1. Whose T-Rex was better? Mine or this random wild Rex looking for a fight? There's a lot of you out here, I like this spot. This is a great spot, oh man. Oh, you see me now? Haha! <laughs> All you gotta do is just keep in front of them, hit them so they bounce back, walk backwards as well, so they can't really get too many hits in. And you're good to go. Bam, easy as pie. I wasn't ready for this, but day 52 took me by surprise. Maybe two surprises at that. Okay, this is getting scary. This is turning into like Jurassic Park stuff. I don't like it. Just gotta make sure we kill you really quickly because there's another one behind me the second surprise was definitely closer than i thought we got another one another rex there's so many rexes out today i did not mean to do that my bad hold on Day 53, I was still so excited to find all I could around the area. One of the biggest things I noticed was this sort of weird obelisk thing near the base. This is like the thing that kept being lit up throughout the entire night. It's doing some weird... magic thingy. You good? Alright, don't die on me, buddy. You got a lot of HP. Let's, let's try and use it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> This is how I get down in video games, in every single game I play. As nighttime was closing in, I really wanted to try my T-Rexes back inside the desert. With day 54 here, I was terrified with what was about to happen. It almost reminded me of the Tremors movie. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's under the, the sand. I'll kill you. <gasps> oh, 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 I don't know if I can kill that. I don't know if I can, I do, I want to kill that? Oh, that's like a spider thing. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try my best. I'll try my best, I'll try my best. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Do I get anything from this? Who knows, I'm killing this thing today come this far. Without a moment's notice, the worm disappeared without a trace, leaving me wanting more but also confused. It was also a great day because of what I saw in the distance. Some sort of moving island type of creature. I could honestly say that I'd never seen anything like it before. What is that? It's an island that moves? <laughs> what is happening? 
What even is this game? Is that a, was it a mirage? I don't know. It disappeared. Guess I'll go check that out. It's even got like a face on it. Oh my god, look at this thing. Ooh, it's got some stuff on it too, actually. Uh, should I try hitting you? I'm gonna eat you. It's like playing music. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, the one thing I just realized is maybe I shouldn't hit this because this is important in the game. It actually looks so sad too that I was attacking it. Maybe I shouldn't attack it. That's something. I guess that's the oasis thing I'm looking for. Because it's when, when your downers die, it gives you like these souls. And it says they can be spawned back in. Like you can resurrect them through this oasis type of creature. Now for the hardest part, dealing with a heat stroke and trying to make my way back home in time. As my days continued inside the desert, I was looking to find myself a dung beetle. The reason for that was due to the oil they would create from rotten food. What I did come across was this abandoned structure, still standing too. Whoa, it's like a whole, I love this. Ooh, secret. I found a secret. <laughs> secret, secret. What truly started to annoy me was when I would leave my dinos for a few minutes at a time. They'd be phased into the parts of the map with no real way to get them out at all. Oh my god, of all the things I didn't want to happen, this game still finds a way to really mess with me. My T-Rex is literally glitched into the thing. This meant I had to leave the T-Rex for this new tame of mine. Here you go, me time. Dung beetle is gonna be called oil. Can I take this home with me? <laughs> hey, it's a milk delivery. On day 59, I was ready to make my way back home. Happy with my new tame and looking to start the next part of my journey. Go oh, crap. Oh, dang. Well, we're not doing that. Um, you see that? Oh, God, there's a sandstorm coming. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Back into the hole. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're in the hole. I'm holding the dude. Oh, my God. This is all I can see. Just a sandstorm. Oh, never mind. Look at that. Ooh. I had to be careful and wait at the storm while protecting my little guy. Scared that something would eventually jump me on my way back to my dinos. I didn't want to jinx myself ever, but somehow, some way, I was able to make it back safely. So you grew up, huh? Look at you. All big and grown up now. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I have food for them though. It was all about figuring out how the bug worked now. If given the right food, this little guy would give me fertilizer and oil. Day 62 and I planned on getting as many torches made, looking to spread out tens if not hundreds where I could. Charcoal was a very important resource that took time to cook down from wood. You want to see the progress I've been making? I built a bunch of torches and now I'm finally lighting these suckers up because I need some light. So if you haven't seen it before, this was my home. This is half of it. I'm going to finish up the other half once I mine all that out. I'm going to make it a more enclosed area just so I do have protection because this is nice. This is where I'll keep all the building and that. But inside, I'll have more of the protection protection. With the new morning here, it was time to unlock every saddle I could. The points were just sitting there collecting dust. While finishing up on the skill tab, I jumped on my blue T-Rex and looked towards the mountains. Scoping out the lay of the lands from cactus to barren desert lands. Fantastic, I love it. Thinking back to where I first saw dinos flying in packs, I remember seeing Argentavis in the area. Okay, you're gonna stay right there. And I'm gonna go tame this bad boy. Come on, let me tame you. You get out of here. Whew. All right, get this Sergeant Davis, please. Oh, <laughs> don't know what you eat or what you don't eat. As the taming process went throughout the night the next day, I could officially say I tamed my first Argentavis. Thinking about the perfect name for this bird, I settled on Argentina. I was trying everything to land this darn bird, completely forgetting the fact that it couldn't land in water. There was also one button I hit that pulled all my tames into one area, freaking me out even more as I continued to panic. Then, the best thing that could have happened, did happen. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my god, I don't know how to land! For the rest of the day, I took in a beautiful view of the skyline, landing the Argentavis and collecting as many crystals as my inventory would allow me. A66, and I was on a bit of an iron high. Definitely wasn't due to the altitude. Soon after, I'd be hopping back onto my Argentavis and making my way back towards base. Suddenly coming to a halt as this bird ran out of stamina for flying. On top of that, forgetting that my feet were made out of butter in this game. With the loads of iron I farmed, the smelter was about to be the happiest thing ever. Feeling as comfortable as I did the next day, it was a little me and the Tavis looking for some fun. That pointed me in the direction of the red obelisk. Grabbing a few breaks every now and again, I finally caught something I thought I'd never see. It's like yellow or gold with the black? Oh, <sighs> that looks so good. Whoa, are those just golems just walking around like nothing? 
What the fudge? You see this? Look at that. There's like two golems just literally chilling down there. No better time to get a closer look, am I right? Look at them, guys. Look at them. There's just golems chilling, literally. As I continued on with my original plan, landing near the beam of red and looking for the silica pearls I definitely needed. What the fudge? What? What is, what is it? What is it? What happened? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm scared. I'm stuck and scared. I'm stuck. I got grabbed. I got grabbed. I got grabbed. I'm literally grabbed. Like, I'm, I'm inside something. Why do we have jumping sarcos? What the fudge? Do you see this? Jumping sarcos? There was no way I was sticking around to see how this played out. I did, however, find one very important thing before leaving for good. Yo, it looks like there's a cave here. Oh, I might have to de dive, dive underwater. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> scared. Day 68 and I finally had the oil I needed, looking to gather the rest of the materials for the soon to be fabricator. With just a few more things to complete this build, I could see the finish line. Fabricator. All right, this is gonna get loud and hot, so let's do it. Composites, electronics, here we go. This is where we need silica pearls, holy crap. Oh my God. Oil pump. The next couple of days I spent roaming the lands, looking for a lot more supply drops because of the quality of items I could get. Crafting the best items I had at the time was great, but finding that first item with a color mixed into it was the best feeling ever. Day 71 and I was searching for silica pearls. Remembering that the green obelisk had a nice bit of water, I decided to make my way back towards the area. First, I had to make sure to clear out any wild dinos. That was a big no-no for me. Hey, he's coming this way anyways. Actually, you know what? Hold on. What am I doing? <laughs> you gonna drown in the water today? Oh god, hello. Get him. Get him. Yeah, buddy. What I didn't seem to quite get was swimming through the waters, I didn't have my fists out to pick up the pearls. So I did miss my shot on this area. The next day, I was back near the red obelisk. This place for sure had the silica pearls I needed. I was just praying that past Ray knew to take his fists out and start picking them up. These, uh, they're right here. Look, look, look. This is where you get it, guys. Red, um, red beamy thing just under here. And they're like white little circle thingies. Every so often, I would have to look out for deadly scorpions. No, 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 no. I don't want it. I don't want it. Go down, go down, go down. Come back. You good? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. Whew. Three scorpions at once. You gotta watch yourself, buddy. I hope you're okay. With day 73 here, I ran into the biggest problem yet. I forgot how to make fuel, thinking that it was some sort of unlock in the skill menu or perhaps a build in the fabricator itself. Waiting around for all the oil my bug would produce, I eventually got lucky with my smithy. Apparently, I needed both hide and oil to create the fuel needed and thus began the smile on my face growing three sizes that day. Today was one of the best days yet because I finally had one oil pump gathering up the oil off screen. These were great because you could just set them down on oil rigs and pump the oil. This meant I could take everything I gathered back home and build some more pumps for later use. The problem that did occur was me trying to place more of them down though. There was a stubborn T-Rex that just wouldn't let it go. His land or something like that. Again, probably not the smartest thing to do, but on day 74, I wanted to see what it was like to fly through a storm. Just like in the movies, you know? Yo, what if I fly through it? On a... Not a good idea to fly through it. Okay, I'm going back down, buddy. I'm sorry. Whew. All right. Wow. Well, that was um, something. Huh. A77, charcoal was definitely needed. What I did was the complete opposite and focused on crafting more parachutes for yours truly. <laughs> 69, baby. 69. I love it. The biggest reason for charcoal, though, was ammunition. I now held my first gun and could see right away where the future of this game was taking me. With about 10 to 20 different campfires going the next day, these would suffice until I could get my hands on an industrial smelter type build. With my Ankylosaurus, I went ham on a bunch of rocks, looking for flint that would match the other half of the resources I needed, giving me exactly what the doctor ordered. A crap load of ammo for me to finally use. All right, weapon, reload. Gun, awesome. <gasps> I can make a canteen, holy crap, yes please. Day 79 and I still needed to place my extra oil pumps down. These things were about to give me such a problem though because of all the crazy amounts of dinos blocking me. All right, we got one forge down. Next forge, or why am I saying forge? Uh, oh, what the fudge? Is a golem here? Really? Dude, I don't want it. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, she's gonna throw stuff. Yeah, they don't want to fight each other, just me. Just me. The best thing I could do was pull their aggro as far away to try and break free. Go nine and place it down there. I don't know if I'm doing damage. I don't know if I'm doing damage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It'd be cool if you could like see the HP of stuff, but I guess not. More so just the blood and that's it. All right, those things are going, so they'll be good forever. These rascals had some of the best farming stages for wood, so that gave me the perfect reason to want to tame one. Of course, it wouldn't be a field day if it wasn't for something gone wrong, like my thorny dragon dying and having to use a lot of ammo to kill some raptors. On day 81, I knew from past experiences if I wanted a team to live, I would have to do it myself, taming that said dragon and throwing a saddle on it for safekeeping. This one would not die today. While flying around some more the next day, I came in contact with my first cave. Okay, this cave is absolutely terrifying. Oh my god, I don't even want to go inside. I was hoping I could just find, like, the entrance, but... Oh my god, there's, like... I don't know what to expect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the... Oh, cool. Okay, so this is the actual legit entrance to this place. No clue how this thing was going to go, but it was time to risk it for the biscuit again. Oh my god, it is. So you can definitely see there's like those weird green pathways. So one does lead over there, one leads here. This was definitely happening. But because of how extreme the heat was, I wanted to be fully prepped for what came next. It was something I would never have thought of. Holy... It's press N and the flashlight thing is on. With day 83 here, I had a tent and a few other goodies to keep me more than alive. Flying my butt back inside the big crevasse and landing near what seemed to be the real entrance to this place. Yo, that looks spooky as fudge. It has to be. <laughs> Take my gun and press that N. There's cobwebs too, man. God damn it. Why do I gotta be cobwebs? Why is it so quiet? It's even worse. Dude, there's even like eggs and stuff. Oh my god, there's a big hole that comes down to this place? No friggin' way. You're hot. <laughs> there's one spider. Okay, so the spiders, I do remember, they weren't too crazy. Oh, and they give me chitin? Actually, okay, this is kind of sick. Oh, hey. Hey, if it's just 1v1, this is kind of dope. Okay, wait, that's not... <laughs> I found it crazy that with one shot of poison from a centipede, all of my armor was blown off. Hello? Centipedes, hello? Uh, ow, what the hell? Oh my god, I killed the thing, but they just poisoned me. Whew. Maybe I should have brought stuff to repair my thing. Um, now I'm gonna get so hot. Gonna go over here carefully. Yes, that looks so cool there. You see that stuff? Look at that. Like a weird rock shaped thing. This place was also one of three caves on the map, and I was already blown away with how everything was designed. Did I also forget to mention that there was no lag? This place was bliss. Looking to take flight once more, I was headed towards this yellow supply crate. It was close by, which seemed like no reason not to venture forth. The 85 and my tent and armor were both repaired. Looking to fly back to the cave again and go as far as this place would allow me to. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, but I'm also not. Ooh, is that a chest? I have discovered why Prophet's Rest is so generous with their water. The well at the edge of the compound is built directly on top of what the locals call a water vein. The secrets and lore hidden inside this cave was definitely a nice touch. With a core piece calling out to me, I was ready to slay anything in my path. Mm, where's that mantis at? That thing is right there. Don't tempt me with a good time, because I want to touch it. Ooh, we got a scorched spike skin. Frighten your enemies with imposing the spear. And then, oh, artifact of the gatekeeper. Only one of these may be carried at a time. The next day I did a bunch more casual farming, looking for different iron veins that I didn't touch. I couldn't have been happier with the rates that were set. My life was made easier and honestly I just enjoyed the game. Even the oil was looking mighty fine with the three different pumps around the area. The only other place I know of Mantis that I've uh, heard of is I believe this is another cave entrance. 
curious what this is about. It's like a... I don't know. It's in some sort of underground thing. This is so different than the other one. The other one was like a cave. This is like a structure where the cave is like built within the structure. And it's... Oh, man. It's giving me the best vibes ever. I love this. I can't hit it properly. Oh, my God. Ooh, there we go. Okay, you're in the map somewhere. Are you coming out now? Where is it? There it is. All right. Holy crap. Okay. I do not like centipedes, Sam. I am. Ho, ho, ho. I do not like them. This is like the other map. Oh, this is like some crystal cave stuff. Cool, cool. We got different paths here. Love that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a mantis? There's a mantis right there. There's something right there. I don't like this. Now, this is a big old cave. Bigger than the other one for sure. Ooh, it goes to an even bigger place over there. Oh, I love that. That is death. Look at that, though. Yep, yep. Somebody thinks it's fun. I gotta jump back already. Oh, my God. So this one definitely has the mantises, and so many things are spawning. Oh my god. I don't even want to know what that is behind me. You're moving? Or... Of course I'm moving. Oh damn. I don't want to fight that. Oh, that's a snake. Oh, that's that's not good. That's a sleeping thingy there. Holy crap. Holy crap. Ow. There goes everything. Oh my god. If I wasn't wearing any armor, then I'd be totally dead. Oh my god. Everything... That's the thing. It keeps respawning. Everything... Oh, there's so many things that respawn. This is a great place. I just need more ammo to kill everything. While flying through more villages the next day, I needed to find my way back home. It didn't matter if I lost stamina and needed to stop for more. My stuff was in desperate need of repairs. That and I had to go around picking up the charcoal from all the torches to campfires I placed down. Day 90, I started moving everything from my little home to the base up top the mountainside, starting with the mortar and pestles to all the resources that were stored back inside my first smithy. I even found a little bit of time to gather more flint while things were being crafted down. While assuming the position in hopes for the metal to cementing paste and just so much more to be crafted crafted down, the next day brought me even closer. Day 92, I had more forges built for all the metal I collected. My fabricator was working on crafting up more polymer, and I was one step closer to more ammunition. This time, it was for a new pistol I made myself. The rifle was a great gun, but the ammo to make was super expensive. The pistol, on the other hand, was not so much. The next day, I flew high on my Argentavis, making a pit stop for some water in my tum-tum as I continued through the stone pillars sticking out of the ground. This cave was about to feel the wrath of my pistol. Or so I hoped. The damage was there, and it wanted to be the spotlight. But in the moment of real panic, I had to take out my rifle and save my life. The pistol just wasn't there yet. Again, here I was, naked man running through the caves like a boss because I kept forgetting the materials for my repairs. That's okay though because I still had a pistol with tons of ammo for it and shooting the mantis with said gun only made things better, right? Today was the real kicker for me though. I repaired all my stuff, had ammo for the insects and dinos inside the cave, but completely forgot about my health from the extreme heats. Dying wasn't even the worst part of it, because I made my way back towards the cave and sat around looking for my so-called stuff. It apparently glitched through wherever I died and fell to the bottom of nothingness. It, it was just gone. So now I was starting up my fabricator once more, trying my best to craft everything I had as I was completely shell-shocked by another storm. This time I had that headpiece for the desert outfit, and man, this could have helped me so much throughout my journey. As it so happened, the best place to get the best type of upgrades was in supply crates, so I was going in hard as I could for them. First one, nothing. The problem with these things though is that they were just spawning in, so I did have to wait for a little bit. Of all things to find at the very end of this playthrough, I had no idea lava even existed in the map, let alone seeing the wyverns for the very first time. I was legitimately thinking to myself, how in the heck am I going to get these things? If you guys know how to tame wyverns, please let me know down below because I want to see this map through. I'm not done with it. Making it to day 100, guys, I just can't thank you enough for still supporting me to this day. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and I just can't wait to finish this game, this, this map in general. With that being said, guys, I love each and every single one of your faces. I just appreciate the support so much. I will forever be grateful for everything you've done for me, and I will see you in my next video. This is Ray of Pandas and my T-Rex Rose signing out. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.